Hey friends, recently the Indian government has made a big announcement on 76,000 crore incentive on semiconductor sector under the PLI scheme. So suddenly there is a lot of interest among investors and everyone is looking for stock ideas to encash this opportunity. Hence, I did some research and thought of sharing it with you all. So I have divided this video in three parts. In first part, we'll discuss why there's a need for semiconductors. What is the future? In second part, I'll explain the PLI scheme and its benefit. Finally, in the third part, I'll discuss the companies that can potentially benefit from this scheme. And then I'll conclude my take on this entire development. All right, let's get started. This is not a hidden secret that semiconductors are part of our day-to-day -day life. In fact, every electronic item requires a semiconductor. Be it your laptop, PC, mobile phone, digital camera, washing machine, fridge, and the list goes on. In fact, for every computer and mobile phone, its microprocessor or memory card or graphic cards are the heart of the devices for processing and that are built using semiconductors. Not only we need semiconductors in end consumer products, but it is used in various other applications like your bank ATM, trains, flights, telecom devices, medical devices, even the future cars that are connected, autonomous and electric require semiconductor. As far as future is concerned, the future is all digital and connected with Internet of Things, that is IoT. So going forward, we would need devices that process the data in no time and hence the usage of semiconductors is only going to increase at a rapid rate in the future. Now I am sure you would be aware of the fact that post lockdown, there was a significant shortage of semiconductors globally. It was due to the fact that everyone shifted to work from home and that skyrocketed the demand for mobiles and laptops. Also the school got closed and everyone shifted online. So this created a huge demand for mobiles and laptops. Moreover, the automobile market started to recover and there was a high demand for semiconductor chips. But due to COVID, the majority of production facilities were either running in limited capacity and the entire supply chain got disrupted. This resulted in a huge gap between the supply and demand for semiconductor chips. Due to that, many sectors got impacted with automobile sales declined due to chip shortage. In fact, it also impacted the production of every device, including your mobile phone, TV, etc. Now, if this semiconductor manufacturing had been distributed evenly across the world, then the problem would not have been so severe. For example, if India already had a semiconductor ecosystem right from design to development and manufacturing, then we would not have faced such crisis. But we all know that majority of semiconductor manufacturing is controlled by Taiwan, which is the leader in semiconductor manufacturing with almost 63% market share. In fact, within Taiwan, one company, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, that is TSMC, controls around 54% of the world semiconductor market. Yes, just one company controls more than 50% of world semiconductor market. It is followed by South Korea with 18% market share, China with around 6% share and others have around 13% share. So just imagine, 87% of world market is dominated by three countries. Here please note that we are talking about manufacturing and not design. So TSMC is world's largest manufacturer where design leaders include companies like Qualcomm, Intel, Apple, etc. Now the question is, why don't we have semiconductor manufacturing in India? So the answer is that semiconductor manufacturing is not a cakewalk. It requires an entire ecosystem with heavy investment and skilled labors. Think this way. India is a world leader in IT services because India has built an ecosystem in the early 80s that has now matured over the last 40 years. So it is easy to find the talent and we have the right leadership with experience. But it is not easy to build such an IT ecosystem and hence Indian IT companies dominate the world. But unfortunately, India is not among the leaders in manufacturing. We all know that China is the leader in manufacturing and Taiwan and South Korea are leaders in semiconductor manufacturing. So even if Indian companies start manufacturing semiconductors, they would be competing with world leaders from Taiwan and South Korea. And it is simply not possible to compete at price point with such giants. And that's where it requires significant support from the government. That takes us to the second part of this video where we will discuss the latest announcement by the Indian government 
on the semiconductor industry. In order to create a semiconductor manufacturing ecosystem in India, Indian government has recently announced a budget of Rs 76,000 crore under the PLI scheme that would be applicable for next 5-6 to six years. The scheme would incentivize the entire semiconductor ecosystem right from design, fabrication, packaging and testing of microchips. It would also attract the global players. And as per news, Israel Tower Semiconductor, Apple contract manufacturer Foxconn and a Singapore-based consortium have already shown interest in setting up semiconductor fabrication units in India. Now this ecosystem has various division where the government has bifurcated its incentive. So we'll quickly look at each division. First division is semiconductor fabs and display fabs. It basically include setting up the fabrication plant. That is, the factories where all these chips and circuits would be manufactured. It would also include display fabs, which is the display screen of phones, laptops, TVs, etc. Government would provide financial support up to 50% of total cost in setting up the semiconductor and display fabs in India to companies that are eligible with required technology and expertise. It would also include support in terms of identifying the land for factory, providing semiconductor grade water, high quality power, logistic support and so on. Second area is semiconductor ATMP. ATMP stands for assembly, testing, marking and packaging of semiconductor chips. Government would provide up to 30% of capex support for semiconductor ATMP. Third area is semiconductor design. Government has announced an incentive up to 50% for semiconductor design for integrated circuits, chipsets, system arm chips and semiconductor link design. Government is looking to support at least 100 domestic companies in the semiconductor design area and expect at least 20 companies to hit revenue of 1500 crore in next 5 years. Please note that we already have a decent semiconductor design ecosystem in India. So this scheme would even boost the existing design ecosystem. Now let us move on to the third part of this video where we will discuss about the listed companies in semiconductor space that can benefit from this PLI scheme. Before we proceed, please note that the government has not yet shortlisted the companies that would benefit from this PLI scheme. And the existing semiconductor ecosystem in India is very small with very few players in this space. Some of them are private companies while some are public but very small companies. So first name is Moschip. Established in 1999, Moschip is the first fabulous semiconductor company publicly traded in India with 20 plus years of experience. Please note that it is fabulous which means it outsources the fabrication and only focuses on the design part. But since this company has a head start of 20 plus years, it can benefit from this PLI scheme. It basically designs semiconductors and IoT solutions for aerospace and defense, consumer electronics, automotive, medical, networking, telecommunication sector. It has been working with top semiconductor manufacturers like TSMC. Although financially, it is a very small company with market cap of rupees 1000 crore. In fact, its share price has already run up almost 4x in last one year from rupees 17 to rupees 65. So one year ago, it was just 250 crore company. If you look at the sales, in last 5 years, company's revenue has been growing quickly from 5 crore in 2016 to 130 crore in last 12 months. Although operationally, company has been in loss for years and has recently reported profits. Company has a debt to equity of 1 which is on higher side. After the PLI news, this stock is trading in upper circuit for last 3 days. Second name that can potentially benefit from PLI scheme is ASM Technology. Again, a very small company with a market cap of just Rs 450 crore. ASM Technology was established in 1992, so it is also a very old company in this space. It is again involved in the design of semiconductors. ASM has the experience of design and development of system and subsystem for wafer metallization and packaging. But again, it is a very small company. Financially, company revenue has grown up from 63 crore in 2016 to 168 crore in last 12 months. But the profit is very low, although it has increased a bit recently. Company shares has already jumped more than 500% in last one year. Currently, its P-E ratio is around 45. The next company that can potentially benefit from PLI scheme is BHEL, that is Bharat Heavy Electric Limited, which is a PSU company. 
BHL is engaged in the design, engineering, manufacturing, construction and testing of wide range of products, systems and services for core sector of the economy including power, transmission, transportation, renewable energy, oil and gas and defense. BHL has a market cap of around 22,000 crore. Financially, company's revenue have declined from 25,505 crore in 2016 to 19,635 crore. Company has been in losses in last 2-3 years. Now there is a news that Tata Group is interested in setting up semiconductor manufacturing in India and it has been in talks with Taiwan companies to make chips in India. Although we don't know which company of Tata Group would work in this category. We do have companies like Tata Alexi that are working on various frameworks and design solutions in the area of AI and ML, electric cars, IoT devices and so on. Overall, if we conclude, Indian government has made a great decision to create a semiconductor ecosystem in India, but I believe that it would take a few years to kick off this from here. And it requires a lot of investment and expertise with the right talent pool. As far as specific stocks are concerned for investment, we don't really have many options at this stage. Companies like Moschip are too small and have already run up a lot. It might make quick money for short term, but personally, I would not rush in a hurry and avoid investment in any such companies as majority of them are too small and yet to prove their capabilities. But this is certainly one space that is looking very interesting and worth keeping an eye on. I would be more keen on Tata Group investment in semiconductor space and company that would finally work on this space. Till then, I think it is better to not get too excited with the news and better to wait for the right opportunity for long term investment. Now tell me in the comment, what is your take on this PLI scheme? Have you invested in any of the stocks? I hope you will find this analysis useful. If you want to learn more about money management, you can explore my online course with 100 plus videos. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care.